Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Learn to lead with love from the honorees of the 2023 Compassionate Leader Circle Awards each year. The Compassionate Leader Circle recognizes people around the world who embody compassionate leadership by caring about people and the planet in exceptional ways. This year there were 200 nominees and six people were chosen to do all the great work to represent what people are doing to prevent and combat suffering. This year's nominees come from four countries and include innovators in technology, NGOs, social impact investing and health. It is my honor to bring these leaders and the organizations to you who are doing the great work they stand for. Our first award winner, Neil Mehta, is a UK-based entrepreneur and philanthropist whose work benefits disadvantaged communities around the world. He is the founder and CEO of Givey a digital fundraising and collaboration platform for small charities to raise funds in Gross Britannia to be successful and self-sustaining. So far it has raised £3.5 million to support over 5,000 small volunteer-run charities. Neil is also chair of an NGO called Water Harvest, which provides water harvesting solutions in Africa and India. He recently testified at a congressional hearing. Dr. Nick Cardaras is a best-selling author and pioneer on tech addiction and the impact of the digital age on our mental health. He is CEO and Chief Clinical Officer of Omega Recovery in Austin, Texas, and Maui Recovery in Hawaii. Dr. Cardaras is the author of the best-selling book Low Kids, the seminal book on screen effects translated into 12 languages, and the recently published Digital Madness. How Social Media is Driving Our Mental Health Crisis. His books offer harsh critiques of technology platforms that knowingly harm mental health and solutions on how we can overcome this crisis. We believe Nick S. books should be required reading for all parents, guardians and educators. I met our following two awardees who are employees when I had the honor of interviewing them for a recent Forbes.com post where they taught me about disability tech. Your